since I took electronics at A-level, I've been kind of missing tinkering with things, making circuits, and especially hardware programming and microcontrollers and all that sort of stuff. So when Banggood reached out to me and said, we'd like to give you anything in our shop, uh, this was the first thing that came to mind. This is a pack of Arduino parts, so a full Arduino uh, Mini or Mega, or one of the two, we'll have a look, uh, as well as uh, just a full suite of sensors, uh, options, breadboard, uh, wires, uh, and all that sort of stuff that I'm going to take a look at in this video. I'm also going to come back in a couple weeks to show you what I specifically did with this, otherwise this video might get quite long. And basically I wanted to be able to give an idea of uh, be able to do some sort of tutorials around programming, uh, hardware sort of programming as such, you know, actually wiring circuits uh, and how to do certain things like I don't know, uh, one of the sensors in here is an ultrasonic sensor, so perhaps uh, something to do with that. There's also an IR uh, receiver and remote, so perhaps something to do with hacking your TV or something like that. That might be interesting. Um, but there's lots of options that this provides me, so hopefully this will be an interesting video just to take a look at all the parts and the potential options. And then also, you know, in a couple of weeks, what I specifically did with it and perhaps a few tutorials too. So I was going to show you this footage of me taking it all out, but I realised that it was actually ridiculously boring and quite long so let's go through the individual pieces uh, just uh, as a sort of bit of a quicker look. There's a few interesting things in here obviously the Arduino itself also comes with a shield uh, there's a few other interesting things a stepper motor a DC motor a 9 gram servo 10k 100k 1k and 220 ohm resistors you also get a bluetooth module uh, ultrasound sensor a passive infrared module RF receiver and sort of transmitter an NFC tag and an NFC chip as well a lot of interesting stuff. Now the Arduino uh, is it a Greekrete or something like that? It uses an Atmel 80 mega chip. As I said, you get this uh, electronic brick shield as well, which is actually quite nice to be able to attach uh, lots of 5 volt connections and all that sort of thing without having to use the breadboard. You also get what is essentially a calculator display as well as an 8x8 LED matrix. You get a set of transistors as well, which is quite nice. These are, I think, half a watt type transistors. I think they can source about two, uh, 0.5 amps through them. Uh, and obviously, you also get a few things like LD light dependent resistors so these obviously are de the dependent on light to change the resistance you also have an infrared receiver you also get a little infrared desk sort of uh, remote as well, which is quite cool. This is a capacitor. This is a 220 microfarad capacitor. You also get 47 microfarad and another value as well. And just to note, that shorter leg is the uh, negative one. Uh, obviously, if you connect it the other way around, because this is an electrolytic capacitor, it could explode. So yeah, be careful with those. This is a humidity sensor. It's quite cool. Uh, there's a few sensors in here that make me think that you could make a, this into a little weather station or something. Uh, but it is quite cool, and I want to have a play around with this when I can. This one is obviously a red LED. You also get green LEDs and RGB LEDs and I'll show you in a second. Uh, the smaller leg is also the negative one. As you can see, there's a sort of bigger anvil inside, and then the smaller one is the positive one. To make Corsair happy, we've got some uh, RGB LEDs. There's actually two of these sort of big dome ones, uh, so feel free to play around with those. This is a potentiometer or a sort of ch variable resistor. This one is one of the small ones. There's also a bigger one, and this is a sort of precision one because they're absolutely tiny. This is a push to make switch, and this one is a latching switch. There's two of each, so you can do what you like with those. Uh, and otherwise, you also have this keypad, which is quite interesting because it's almost paper thin, yet feels actually pretty tactile. So yeah, kind of uh, quite quite well to do that one. Also, there is a little keypad driver as well. Same with the stepper motor. There's also a stepper motor driver uh, and a few other bits and pieces. Now, I did have to get this uh, actual manual from Banggood themselves as opposed to from their website. So hopefully. Hopefully they will update the listing to actually leave this on the website. But when you do read through it, it's a very simple thing to do, very clear instructions and uh, very easy to actually build the circuits and uh, you know install the code onto the Arduino. A little bit of a play around, uh, I connected the uh, 8x8 LED matrix as well as the four seven segment display sort of counter type thing. Uh, I connected them up using the PDF that was supplied by Banggood. If they don't have that listed on the website, which I couldn't find and I had to email the, the guy who sent me these parts, then I will leave uh, a link to the zip folder that they sent me which includes all of the examples and this sort of instruction PDF I'll, I'll probably put it in my Google Drive or something like that uh, or upload it 
somewhere but uh, i'll leave a link to that file in the description down below as well as obviously a link to the parts and all that sort of stuff but uh, once you actually get it working and understand you know which parts go where and all that sort of thing and basically just follow the instruction guide it's actually pretty easy and it's actually a lot of fun now this uh, this sort of setup here is uh, what i've kind of concocted a little bit uh, this is just sort of the start of what i plan to do in the next video but uh, this is basically just a demonstration of the code that they give you uh, cut into two things so that the uh, 8x8 matrix and the uh, seven seg displays should both be working. So just a few notes before I close out and obviously go on to the next video in a couple weeks talking about the actual things that I did with it. I've got a few good ideas, so hopefully you'll enjoy them when I do uh, you know, actually get around to tinkering with them. But uh, yeah, overall it is quite a nice kit. It's awesome to be able to get all these parts to be able to play with them. Uh, once you do get the instruction manual and the libraries and uh, you know example code, uh, it does make it a lot easier. It's actually quite a simple thing to do. Um, one thing to note is that the sort of calculator type display, that requires requires you to solder the headers onto it. That's the only piece of soldering that you need to do for this kit as far as I'm aware, but it is something that you do need to do, otherwise uh, the actual display won't work. Um, otherwise, as I said, it is a, a very nice kit. It's nice to play with these things. Uh, and I think if you were, you know, interested in tinkering with stuff, but you didn't necessarily know exactly what parts to buy or all that sort of stuff, uh, then this is quite a nice sort of beginner's kit. And if you do get the manual with it and the uh, sort of all, all the supporting code and libraries, uh, it is a really easy and really fun project. I think kids might enjoy it as well, especially if they sort of got an interest in uh, programming and, you know, actual electronics and tinkering with stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, either way, it is, as I said, a lot of fun to play with. I will be playing with it over the next few weeks, and as I said, in a couple of weeks, I'll do a video on uh, a project that I've done with as many of the parts as I can kind of gather together. Um, I think I would like to also note that the breadboard, at least in my case anyway, wasn't that great. Um, it is quite difficult to get bits in. Uh, I think it's just because, as I said, the, the piece of metal just folded over too tight, so uh, we will have to, to see about that one and see if we can do anything about it. But yeah, either way, I think that's pretty much it for this video. It's kind of just been a bit of a showcase. As I said, the, uh, all the, once you do get the libraries and the code for it, there are examples for all the code and it comes with an instruction manual to show exactly what pins to wire it to. Uh, so that's you know, very, very easy to do. So don't worry too much about that. But um, yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of it really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the style. Let me know if you want to see more electronics type videos or just go back to you know reviewing hardware. Um, as I said, let me know in the, the comments down below. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, type of video. It's kind of been a bit of an overview. Uh, as I said, uh, feel free to like and as I said, subscribe. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, feel free to check out the kit. As I said, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all in the next video.